Racing across the cosmos at the speed of light. Dispensing justice at the end of a laser ray. Defender of the known universe. He is Blast Burton, radar rocket ranger from the 26th century. Blast Burton is back on your airwaves. Captain Blast Burton, agent of the League of Planets and commander of the Radar Rocket Rangers, fights a never-ending battle across the solar system against the evil forces of Tengar the Terrible, tyrannical emperor of Mars. Aiding Blast in the fight for justice are the beautiful ace pilot Betsy Booster and Earth's most brilliant scientist, Dr. Smartwell. Now, let's join our heroes 500 years in the future in tonight's exciting episode, Field Trip. As we join our heroes, they have found some downtime in their great battles with Tangar the Terrible aboard the newly established Earth Station 1, a great space station placed in orbit around the planet of Mars in order to monitor the evil forces that still plague the surface of the Red Planet. Blast Burton monitors the situation below for any signs of trouble. Hmm. All seems quiet, but I don't trust it. Oh, here you are, Blast. Oh, good morning, Betsy. Did you sleep well? A lot better now that we have Earth Station 1. Yes, it's good to know that the League of Planets felt the need to place a station here. Now we can see everything going on down there on the surface of Mars. We will know as soon as Tangar starts trouble. With the sophisticated instruments, we can see all, hear all, and most importantly, know all. Why, I can even tap into private communications between individuals. Um... And with the great scanning eye, I can zoom in and see the smallest oh, detail. Oh, okay, that sounds a bit extreme. If I use the x-ray feature, I can even see through walls. Why, I can zoom in and watch ladies in the showers whoa, whoa, if I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, no, I mean, I, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I respect people's privacy. I have to. It's it's in the League of Plants Charter. Just saying, I, I, I could if I want to. Yeah, the less we talk about this, the better. I just came to tell you that Miss Bell's class has just arrived in the docking bay. Ah, the field trip. I almost forgot. Thank you for reminding me, Betsy. It's amazing that we get a chance to mold small minds, to instill the morals of the League of- Oh my god, Baroness Bitter Frost is chasing clothes again! Oh, we should just turn this off. Damn it, Blast. Anyway, uh, we better get down there right away. Huzzah! Meanwhile, in the docking bay, Miss Bell's class is unloading from their big yellow rocket ship, although two of the students are not what they appear to be. All right, all right. Everyone, calm down. Calm down. Hey, stop pushing, jerk. The name is Tangar the Terrible, not Jack. You want to do something about it, kid? I'm going to tell Miss Bell. Oh, go ahead and see what happens. Snitches get stitches. Tangar, stop. You are drawing attention. We are supposed to be incognito. He started it. I don't care who started it. You better do what your girlfriend says, mister. Sassy Sinister is not my girlfriend. Well... What? Uh, it's nothing. I thought we talked about this. No, you talked about it. You could have said something. Never stopped you before. In fact, I'm surprised you even listened to me when I did talk. And what is that supposed to mean? It means that when you have a problem, we always have to talk about it. Sometimes for hours on end. But me, when I have a problem, oh, well, suddenly you're tired and you don't feel like talking. We shouldn't be discussing this now. You are going to get us caught. See? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Now you don't want to talk about it. Silence! Or I'll put a tongue-binding hex on you. Fine, I'm stopping. Happy? You sure these outfits are going to fool them? They got us on the rocket ship, didn't they? Yeah, but you do know Blaster Burton knows what we look like, right? Do you doubt my disguise-making skills? 
I didn't. Ah, uh, because if you think you can do better. I wasn't saying. I worked very hard on these, you know. It's not that they're bad. Well, it mm. sounds like you were insulting my abilities. Oh my god, it's fine, okay? It's fine. But school uniforms? Listen, if you had a better way to get on Earth Station 1. Well, no. Then shut up about it. Okay, I'm sorry. Apology accepted. For now. Man, these shorts are riding up like the red waist sand slug. I do think I might have made a few miscalculations. My skirt also seems far shorter than it should be. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really short. What? What are you looking at? Nothing, nothing. I'm not staring at your... I, I mean... Stop it! I'm sorry. You literally are dressed like a schoolgirl. I mean, you've never worn anything like this before. And now that I see it, I can say that that is a shame. Focus on the mission. <laughs> Kinda hard. No pun intended. But I'll do my best. Man, these shorts are getting even tighter. This is a disaster already. Hey, you two, in the back. Crap! I told you. If you two are talking, then you aren't listening to me. Now, are you? N no. I can't hear you. I said no! And what about you? Me? Yes, you. You were talking as well. Are you listening now? <sighs> yes. And how about with a little less attitude? Yes. All right, good. Now, line up, line up. Hello, children. Look, it's Blast Burton. I have eyes. And how are you all doing today? Fine. I'm Captain Blast Burton, commander of the Radar Rocket Rangers. You guys have heard of the Radar Rocket Rangers, correct? Yay! Oh, cut it out. And I'd like to introduce you to my second in command, Lieutenant Betsy Booster. Hello, children. Now, raise your hands if this is your first time on a space station. Oh, I see a lot of hands. Put your hand down. What it is? Now let me tell you about this station. This is a standard type 1138 planetary orbiter station. The Liga planets have these positioned around several planets, including Venus. Uh, this is so boring. I think Betsy Booster is staring at us. She might recognize us. What? Where? Over there. See? She is looking this way. <laughs> sure she just isn't checking me out? I'm pretty sure. You think she's checking you out? Well, someone thinks highly of herself. I think she is looking at both of us because she knows who we are. We can't let our cover be blown if we're going to find out what secrets this new space station holds. We'll have to sneak away when she isn't looking. And that's why they won't let me back on Titan. Now, how would all of you like to be honorary junior radar rocket rangers? Yeah! Well, it just so happens I have Junior Radar Rocket Ranger badges for each of you. So, if you'll line up, I'll give you each one in turn. Oh, no. This is not good. There you go. And one for you. And you. And you. And, hmm. You look familiar. Do I know you? Uh, no. No, no, of course not. Are you sure? It, it seems like I recognize you. What's your name, son? Uh, Billy. Billy Space Bus. Billy Space Bus. Hmm, I... Uh, you don't know me, okay? Of course I do. You're Clifford Space Bus's boy, aren't you? What? Yes. What? I'd recognize that big nose. All right. The beady little eyes. Yep. Weak little arms. Can we just wrap this up? An oily hair anyway. And there goes the last three years of therapy. How is your father anyway? F 
fine, I guess. I haven't seen him since we served together on the Pluto expedition. Um, Blast, can I talk to you over here a minute? Betsy, look! It's Clifford Space Bus's boy. Yeah, just over here a moment. <sighs> All right. Excuse me, children. Blast, that's clearly Tangar and Cersei in disguise. Nonsense, Betsy. They are children. Not only are they two feet taller than all the other children, Tangar has a full Fu Manchu beard going on, and I'm pretty sure Cersei is wearing a push-up bra. They are clearly adults. Well, uh, I admit the girl is a little, uh, <clears throat> m mature for her age, but if they were children, why are they wearing school uniforms, hmm? Really? I know, it's irrefutable evidence. <sighs> It'll be fine, Betsy. I'll keep my eye on him. You better. All right, kids. Who wants to see the off-limits section of the station where we keep all the top-secret technology? Yay! Oh, my God. Soon, Miss Bell's class finds themselves deep in the heart of Earth Station One, where the advanced technology that keeps the station in place over the Red Planet can be found. And through this door is the reactor that powers the entire station. Can we see the reactor, Mr. Blast? <laughs> uh, no, uh, I'm afraid not. It's highly classified. Uh, now, if you children will come this way, I'll show you where we refine the plutonium. It's really easy to do. Yay! We need to get a look at that reactor. <laughs> Quickly, Cersei. Duck into this closet. <laughs> It's tight in here. Dark, too. How long do we have to stay in here? We have to make sure that they're gone. So how you been? You're keeping us in here on purpose, aren't you? We never just talk anymore! Ah! <laughs> you are supposed to be taking this seriously. I am. We haven't done anything like this in a while. Is it wrong to enjoy it? Hmm? Like the old days. You remember them? I remember you turning yourself in and telling Blast Burton all about our secret death ray on the moon. Really? You just have to ruin everything, don't you? The reactor. Fine. Just through this door. <coughs> it's locked. Well, can you use one of your spells or something on it? You're the Witch Queen of the Crimson Coven, remember? Yes, they don't work so well on technology. Well, then what are we going to do? We should call the palace. See if we can get one of the henchmen to look up how to pick a lock on Space Google. Good idea! my sandwich. And? Well, uh, I, I, I thought I might have, uh, uh, left it here. What? The, what? The, when, when do you think you left it there? Oh, uh, uh well, uh, what is today? Friday. Oh, oh, then, uh, let's see. Uh, February? Oh, my gods. What is going on? I got thunk. What is he doing here? He thought he left his sandwich. What? When? In February. He is an idiot. Of course he's an idiot. He's a hawk lion man. They're all idiots. Hey! Did you guys just call me an idiot? Yes. Oh, well. Just checking. Ask if anyone else is there. Uh, hey, hey, Tank. Is anyone else there? Like, maybe, say, Baroness Bitterfrost? Oh, um... <clears throat> Nope. Head Cannon, the man with a gun for a head? Mm -hmm. uh, nope. Earl Grey, the master of teas? Nope. Is at least Steve there? Oh, uh, mm. uh, well, let me check. Hold on. I, I think Steve might be there. Thank the Lords of Nord. Nope. Uh, wasn't Steve. Well, then who was it? Uh, someone left their coat on the rack and, uh, can't look like Steve. Hmm... 
Ask him if TikTok text is there. Seriously? You just really want to hurt me today, don't you? That was a long time ago, and I didn't know about you. Uh, you, uh, Listen, he would be better at helping us than Thunk would. Fine. Is TikTok Tex there? Mm, uh, nope. Uh, I think him and uh, Janet Jinx, uh, that uh, bad luck bombshell, uh, went out on a date tonight. <laughs> He's out with Janet Jinx. I... I don't care. <laughs> yeah, sure you don't. I don't! You shouldn't! No. Guys. Damn it. I think we're stuck with him. Okay, Thunk. I need you to do something for me. I need you to go to the main computer and bring up Space Google. All right. Um. Hmm. Hold on. Hey, can I, uh, use, uh, Ask Space Jeeves instead? No, you can't use Ask Space Jeeves instead. It isn't even supported anymore. Space Google. Besides, it's probably like Liberati's 700th birthday or something, and they'll have a cool doodle for it. Hmm, fine. Okay, uh, hmm, what are we looking for? Look up how to pick a standard radar rocket ranger door lock. Hmm, okay, um. Do you have a rock nearby? No, I don't have a rock nearby. Why would I need a rock? Why would we need a rock? That's what I just asked him. So, uh, if you have a rock, uh, you can hit the lock really hard. And, uh, it's supposed to just open. What? That's what it says here. He wants us to hit the lock with a rock. That's idiotic. Tell him that's idiotic. Do you want to talk to him? No. Then let me do it. Thunk, find another solution. Ugh, fine. Well, uh, it says here if you pop the front panel off and then, uh, twist the black and red wires together, it'll engage the unlock function. Although I just... Look for a rock, just in case. He says, pop off the front panel and twist the red and black wires together, and that should unlock the door. Yes. Well... What is it now? Well, I just had my nails done, and I'm not risking breaking one. Ah, fine. I'll do it. Here, take the photo phone. Hello, Thunk. Hey, um, Cersei. So, uh... You're, uh, wearing the schoolgirl uniform? Yes. Nice. What is taking so long, Tanga? I can't get the panel off. Well, hurry up. Well, I'm sorry. Someone else couldn't be bothered to do this. Plus, I bite my nails, so I'm having a hard time getting my fingers under this panel. Okay, which wires? Red and black. Red and black. After you. Thank you. While Tengar and Circe think they have pulled the wool over the enemy's eyes, their incursion has not gone unnoticed. In the Commander Center, while Blast Burton regales the small children of Mrs. Bell's class, Betsy Booster is monitoring the pilfering villains on the security view screen. And that, children, is why we have what are known as peeping Tom laws. Hey, hey Blast. Can I see you over here for a moment? Uh, ex excuse me one moment, children. Yes, Betsy? Look at the security monitor. Why? What are those two doing there? That's a restricted area. Exactly. Well, it looks like you were right, Betsy. I should have kept a better eye on those two. Thank you. We better get down there as fast as we can. As Blast and Betsy make their way to the reactor room, Tangar and Cersei search for something, anything, that might be useful. Find anything yet? No, nothing. What about you? There's just a lot of sticky notes here that say stuff like, Blast, don't touch this, or Blast, this is not food. Ugh, we are wasting our time here. And all I can taste is copper. I think we are way too close to this reactor. 
Who knows what kind of damage this is doing on a genetic level? And it can't be affecting me any more than these tight-ass shorts are. All right, you two. Ah, crap! What exactly do you think you're doing here? Ah, uh, well, y you see, we, we were... Ah, you should know better. I... I, so anyway, I was just... I thought Cliff Space Bus would have taught you better. What? what? If you were going wandering off like this, uh, you could get hopelessly lost on a station like this one. Why? I could never look Cliff in the eye if I lost this boy. Seriously? No, oh, this is very serious. How could I live with myself if two children got lost on the station on my watch? Now... I know you wanted to sneak off with your little girlfriend here, son. She is not my girlfriend. I was your age once, too. Full of spit and sweet and sour sauce. Vinegar. What? Spit and vinegar, not sweet and sour sauce. Well, there's vinegar in sweet and sour sauce, right? Yes. So, technically, I'm still correct. Huzzah! Oh, God. The point is... I get it, kid. So I'm not going to tell your father what you were up to. Uh, thanks? But only if you get back upstairs and join the rest of your group right now. Are you really this stupid? Of course, sir, right away. Um, we won't wander off again, right? Oh, 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 oh yeah, right. That's what I like to hear. Now, run along. That boy has a good head on his shoulders. Let's just go. Soon, the group of children find themselves outside the super-secret laboratories of Earth Station One. Inside, Earth's most brilliant scientist, Dr. Smartwell, creates inventions that not only aid Blast in his fight against Tangar, but could also change the future of mankind. All right, here we are. The lab of Dr. Smartwell. I don't know where we'd be without Dr. Smartwell. His genius has saved not only my life, but the Earth many times over. This is perfect, Sassy. We can steal Smartwell's latest invention. And then use it against this cursed space station. You guys need to be quiet, or you'll get us in trouble again. Silence, you snot-nosed little twerp. Oh, I love it when you abuse the innocent. You two are mean. Damn straight. Who wants to meet Dr. Smartwell? Yay! Ah, Blast! Betsy! And this must be Miss Bell's class, is it not? Hello, everyone! Everyone, come in! Come in! Hello, Doctor. I don't guess you have anything exciting to show these kids, do you? Oh, I think I might be able to come up with something. Let's see, uh... Ah, well, how about this one? Have any of you children played dodgeball? Yeah! Well, don't you just hate it when you dodge that ball, but have to go chasing it all over the place, leaving yourself open to more attacks? Well, that's why I invented the square dodgeball. You'll never have to chase a dodgeball again because it won't roll. Isn't that great? Huh? Huh? Well, they don't look very impressed, Doctor. Oh, don't like that one, eh? All right, uh, well, how, how about this? Uh, snoring is a big problem, right? Well, well, the problem is that some of us do it and some of us don't do it. Well, this is my snore ray. If you mount this on a satellite and bathe the whole Earth with it, then every human being on the planet will snore. We will all be on an equal playing field and no one will have any room to complain. Amazing, huh? Um... <sighs> Do you have anything else, Doctor? This is a waste of time. There has to be something good here. Just wait. Hmm, uh... Oh, yeah, well, here is an oldie, but a good one. I, I don't know about you, but my feet sweat a lot. It, it can be quite annoying. So that's why I've invented an air conditioner for your shoes. Here, let me demonstrate. <laughs> Isn't there anything else? Uh, 
What about uh, that one over there? Oh, no, 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 no. Not that one. That one is far too dangerous to use here. Cersei, that's it. That's the one we want. It's about time. I'll take that, Dr. Smartwell. Billy? What are you doing? I am not Billy Space Bus Blast Burton. I am Tangar the Terrible! What? No, it can't be! I told you. Cersei, grab that device! No! You don't know what you're doing! Give it to me, old man! No, it's too dangerous! That's what I'm counting on, Doctor! Now we make our escape. They're getting into that escape pod. They got away! What was that they stole, Dr. Smartwell? I was saving that for Friday night. What? Why? It was a pheromone projector. A what? It produces pheromones that make you irresistible to women. It's been a long time since I've had a date. I really needed that. All right, class. Well, this has been enlightening and all, but let's just get back to the rocket ship. Miss Bell needs a drink. Yeah! Meanwhile, in the escape pod that is slowly descending back to Mars, Tangar and Cersei examine their prize. We got it! A weapon of great power! Yes, but what is it? It's, well, clearly, I I don't know. Well, there is a button there. Maybe that does something. All right, let's see what happens. What the hell was that? Is that all it does? What the hell, man? All that for nothing. I thought Smartwell said this was dangerous. Tango. This is such bullcrap. I can't believe this. It's all been a big waste. Tango. Ah, why does this always happen to me? Mmm, Tango. Ah, what? Why are, why are you looking at me like that, Cersei? <laughs> Cersei, what, what are you doing? <laughs> now, wait a minute. I don't know what you have in mind, but Cersei... <laughs> Sassy! Ah, no! 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 Well, okay. And so another tale comes to a close. But there are many more adventures on the horizon for Blast Burton, Radar Rocket Ranger from the 26th Century.